Hi, my name is Matt Duff, and today we're going to talk about open thermocouple detection. So in the last session, we talked about how we need to set the common mode voltage so that it's within the range of the instrumentation amplifier. And we did that by using this 1 mega ohm resistor connected to 2.5 volts. Now what a lot of folks like to do is actually split this resistance and uh, do the following, where I put, say, 2 mega ohms here, and I ground this. Make it say I make that two mega ohms, and um, what what did we do here? So let's talk about kind of how uh, what we did. So really, what we did is equivalent to what we had before, and here's the reason why. So before we had two and a half volts connected through a one mega ohm resistor, and now because of our, our remember our thermocouple for our analysis purposes, we're going to treat as a short. So what we've got basically now is a resistor divider where I've got 5 volts, 0 volts, and if I make these 2 mega ohms, you can see that the Thevenin equivalent of this is going to be 2.5 volts with a 1 mega ohm output impedance, which is the same, same as this. So really we haven't changed uh, you know, our circuit that much here. So just wanted to point that out. Now of course the, the 2 mega ohm that we chose here, uh, we could choose different values uh, you don't want to choose uh, too low because if I choose too low, uh, then there's going to be some current that flows from this 5 volts through the thermocouple down to the 0 volts. And the more, the lower the voltage, the lower the resistance that I choose here, uh, the more voltage I might drop across my thermocouple. So even though my thermocouple is close to a short, I might generate a little bit of voltage. And because thermocouples generate such a small voltage anyway, we want to be kind of careful there. So we do want to make sure that these are, are kind of big values. You know, it might be even better to do something like 10 mega ohm uh, instead of 2 mega ohm. So that's what we're going to do here. And let's explain kind of how this open thermocouple detection works. So in normal operation, uh, the thermocouple is closed and it pretty much dominates of the, what the voltage is going to be. So again, there's this tiny little current, but that's pretty much insignificant. But during an open thermocouple event, so sometimes thermocouples can degrade and this junction uh, no longer is a nice connection, but can kind of open up. So if, if you imagine that if we open this up, so now uh, this, the two inputs are going to be pulled apart. So I can get a nice big voltage on my instrumentation amplifier, and my instrumentation amplifier will rail, and I'll see that I have this open thermocouple event. I wanted to point out that for our parts that are designed for thermocouples, this 84, 94 through 97, we actually include a feature that allows us to just use one resistor. So let's say I've just got one resistor here. Sure, 10 mega ohms, yeah, what we had here is fine. Um, the 849X, so this is, this is only uh, uh, applicable for the 849X, includes a P and P input stage. And so the bias current flows out of the part. So during an open thermocouple event, what will happen is that uh, the bias current will flow out of this part, it won't have anywhere to go, and it's going to raise this input, uh, whereas this, the bias current flowing out of here, still goes through this resistance, and so it still stays low. So for the 849X, you don't have to mess with these two resistors. You can just use one, uh, and you have that open thermocouple uh, detection. So for measuring all these uh, small signals, we've, we've tried to get rid of the common mode, try to uh, make everything correct. But we still may have some extra noise, and so we're going to need to do some filtering. And so in the next session, we're going to talk about how to do the filtering.